we'd like to do today is show you how you can adjust a profile that's been previously created. From here, we're going to go click on our profile list. We will now select the profile that we'd like to edit. Once we select that profile, it'll open up and you'll now see in that left hand panel all of the different options that we can go and edit, be it admin, rates, the manual entries or thresholds. So now what I want to do, I'd like to change the rates. So I'm going to go click on the rates and from in here, you see that there are two different rates that I have set up. I have the default rates and new rates. I'm going to go grab the default one by clicking on it. Once this opens, it allows me now to go ahead and make an entry change. I can go ahead and change the sheet metal rate, as you see, and the refinish rate. And once I'm done with these, I can go ahead and click save in the bottom corner. And I have now successfully edited the rates in this profile. Additionally, if I want to go change anything else, so if I go down to the manual entries, what I noticed when I wrote an estimate is that one of the manual entries is off. And so what I'd like to do is go to the manual entries in the category side. I'm going to change this to the frequently used. I am now going to go find the entry that I have. And so in the part type below, I can now click the down arrow. And I noticed that when I had the cover car, that the, the dollar amount I had for cover car was incorrect. So now clicking on it, it's going to pull that up. So that information is listed below. I'm going to slide it down till I see the additional labor. And instead of $10, it should have been 15. So I, I noticed the mistake, I can make the change right here in the profile. And once I'm done, I go ahead and click out and it has completed this change. Now that we've completed a manual entry, we can click into thresholds. From here, I can change the total loss warning threshold as I notice it's at 70 and I wanted it to be at 65. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the header and the disclaimer sections. And again, I have the customer approved estimate amount. I forgot to put the dollar sign in there. So I want to put the dollar sign in there as well as uh, any other information that I may want to add it. And once I'm done, I can go ahead and click back to the work list and it'll save all of my information. So now that I've edited my profile, I'm going to go ahead and create a new estimate to show you that those changes are successful. From here, I'll click new estimate. I'll grab my profile that I selected and edit it. And once that has moved forward, we'll go ahead and go through the normal process. I'm going to add my administrative information the vehicle information, of course, put in the, the VIN number, decode the VIN. And as I look through the rest of this information, I can go ahead and click right here on the rates. It's gonna show me what rates have loaded for this particular estimate. And again, I wanna see that my changes are here. If you notice, I it changed it from 60 to $65 on sheet metal, as well as on refinish. And those changes are successful and will now be included in this estimate. From here, I'll go ahead and click into the damages and we'll start to show you that quickly when I go to the, the manual entries, that when I made the changes to my manual entries and you'll see that we updated cover car. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just that one and save that so it'll be added to the estimate. And then I'll go click in that top corner with the little checkbox for the damage list and you'll see that one's been added to the car and we had edited it from $10 to $15. And now I've successfully updated a profile in Captor Estimating. Thank you for joining us today. To learn more about Captor Estimating, go to www.try.autotex.us forward slash Captor Estimating.